Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here, here today with a Star Citizen news update. Now I was planning to do these every week, but there's been so much news over the last couple of days that I've had to do this one in the interim. So the two major updates and headlines are Arena Commander 1.01 is now out in earnest and not just the PTU. So we've got that actually live now. Um, it's great, it fixes lots of things. Uh, and we've also got this Star Citizen Wave 2 and Limited Edition, a ship sale. Um, this is kind of to help European and international buyers that will have to pay VAT from February 1st. And basically CIG have said that they want people to, to be able to purchase these ships without fear of having to spend loads of extra money, twenty up to 20% more, I suppose, if they live in the United Kingdom. So for those limited edition ship and limited sail ships. We've got the Starfarer, the Drake Caterpillar, the Retaliator, the Banu Merchantman, yes I am reading from a list, the Zanu Cathril Al, the Red Scout ship, um, the Cutlass Blue, the Freelancer Miss, the Gladiator, the Mustang Delta, the Super Hornet, the Aurora LX and the M50 and the 350R. The CCUs and upgrades are also available in the store. Uh, I noticed a, one that was really useful for me as well, the Cutlass Blue 2 Super Hornet um, CCU. That's absolutely awesome. It's actually what I wanted to do. I'm so glad they've done that. Um, as I said, this sale is to help, help the European backers and other international backers that will have to start paying VAT on any purchases after February 1st. So if you want to pick up a ship and you want to back this game and you've got money to spare, then now is the time to do it. It must be said that you do not need to purchase anything other than a starter package. You just need a game package to play the game. Everything is obtainable in game. So if you do not want to spend money on supporting the game, like vast quantities of money, then you don't have to. All you need to do is buy a game package. I really don't want people spending tons of money that they don't have. Arena Commander 1.01 has been fully released now. It was a few days ago released in the PTU, the public test universe, for anyone to try out. Um, they've done some more tweaks and fixes for that, and now they've released it fully for the actual full game of Arena Commander. So uh, this adds a few balances and fixes, hopefully making missiles more fun. Um, Vandal Swarm co-op can now be played with friends, which is absolutely great. Um, new items have been added to the Voyager Direct Store. This is a um, turret for the Hornet and a handgun, um, an actual ballistic handgun. Um, also, they're testing the skins and paint system. Um, you can buy some skins uh, and different colours for your uh, Greyhound if you've got one of the, the golf carts. <laughs> um, so there are a few paint jobs as well available in the Voyager Direct Store. Um, other than that, there's some reverse the verse notes I want to go through. Um, they're going to link some of the modules together. So you're going to have start have the first person module will be directly linked into the hangar module. This will be like in a different room. You go into your hangar, there'll be like a different room probably or uh, a pod. I mean, I'm I'm speculating here, but you you know you go into a different room or a pod. You put on a thing and it will you integrate into the um, uh, first person shooter simulator that way. Uh, the design for the Herald is still totally in flux. They don't really know what it's going to look like. They haven't decided. There's too many things going on. They don't know if it's going to be asymmetrical or not. Um, none of the ships in Arena Commander 1.01 .01 are finished yet, uh, especially the Cutlass. <laughs> they specifically said the Cutlass is really not finished. Um, the way of accessing Arena Commander will be changing uh, as well. Um, I expect there'll be a physical room in your um, actual hangar. Um, CIG have said they specifically want to support esports. So this skin is going to be with, um, they've got lots of different ideas, but they're thinking about like um, ship outfitting point systems. So like you'd have a team of people and you'd have 100 points to spare. Uh, and with that, you'd have to outfit um, different guns are worth different points and different ships are worth different points, that sort of thing. Um, so CIG really wants to support the esports kind of areas of this game. Um, and they were talking a lot about AC credits as well. So this is a money system that's going to be purely in the arena commander simulators and modules in the actual full release of the game arena commander will still exist as a simulator and in that simulator you can have the arena commander currency to purchase ships and weapons and stuff that's only going to be usable in arena commander and obviously from the the alpha and beta well from the beta at least this currency will carry over and i'm assuming it will from alpha uh, as well I will be doing my own special video on PAX South as well, so play, please stay tuned for that. Um, 
but I'm going to wait until PAX uh, South is actually fully over before I start to do news on that. You take care, guys. Thank you very much for listening. I'm sorry if I rambled on. I do that. You take care. I'll see you in the verse, and uh, have a, a merry Paxmas. Take care, guys. Bye!